So let's take a look at how you can create a new base in your Airtable workspace using Spreadsheet. So what we're going to do is we are going to import Spreadsheet within our base. So when you open Airtable dashboard, you will find your workspace. So this one is what I have created, name rocket. And here I have default workspace, which has pro features for 14 days. Okay, we can ignore this. And within this rocket workspace, I have option to create a base. Click on that, and here you see import a spreadsheet. So we are going to import a CSV file. I can also paste the content here. Okay, as you can see, I can drop my CSV file here and click on upload. It will take some time and it will process that and it should show me option like, let's see, family relations. So this is the name of my uh, CSV file, which I have imported into base. Okay. Now let's open this. And as you can see, it has very small amount of data that shows parent identifier and student identifier. Okay, so it automatically creates respective columns within that table. Okay, if you have bigger data, it will respectively add more rows and columns accordingly. But it all depends on the amount of rows supported or free plan in Airtable, up to 5,000 rows are supported. So you may want to check that before importing. If you're on pro plan, you can import higher or larger data. So this was a small tutorial on how to import spreadsheet data from CSV file into your Airtable base.